Hi everyone, how are you? I'm Jessica, welcome back to my channel. Today we're working on the block for the Stars and X's quilt. So I released that pattern last week and I shared a tutorial with you on exactly how to make the X block portion of it. The X block is used to make a larger block for the quilt. So we're gonna work on that today. Let's get started. So this larger block uses four X blocks and I brought four over here. When I'm making the blocks for my quilt, I'm probably going to randomly choose the X's that are used, but for this one, I just picked a nice variety of colors. And so we need four of these. I'll set these aside. We need to make block sashing units. And the block forms a star in the middle. And to get that, we're going to use easy corner triangles here like this. to create star legs. That's gonna form with our, our cornerstone and our other sashing units to make a star. So to get started with this, we need to make the easy corner triangles. You just take one of the squares and lay it at the bottom of the sashing unit, aligning it on the right and the bottom. We're gonna sew from this corner to this corner. If you wanted to trace that with a pencil, you could do that also. I don't, I usually just line up my needle with the corner and then I have this line drawn here and I keep this corner on this line and then I know that I am sewing straight. Then we'll cut this and if you're doing a lot of these at once, you could definitely um, chain piece and then trim them all at once by lining the roller up on the sewing line and then cutting a quarter inch away like I did when we did the flying geese from the Scrappy Stars quilt. And then now that one side's done, we need to repeat that on the other side. Okay, we'll cut that. We're going to need four of these and I have the other three made. I just wanted to show you this one. So in order to get this nice point on your quilt, you need to have the quarter of an inch from that point to the edge of the block. Okay, so that's one of them. And I have the three others made. So we need four X blocks, four block sashing units, and one center square. And here my center square, I'm matching it so my stars all one color. And then we'll start assembling. So you're going to take one X block and one block sashing unit line them up next to each other, and we're just going to sew. Then we'll take a block sashing unit and our center square, match those up together and sew. And then we'll take another X block and another block sashing unit. This is just actually assembled like a big nine patch. The pieces are different, but it's still assembled like a nine patch. Now we'll add the third column which of the block, which is going to be another X block. Then when we open this up, we're going to have two seams left to sew. So this seam and this seam. You can decide how you wanna push your seams here. This block is sashed, so it's not directly going next to another block. So whatever uh, works for you here, you can do it. You can push them open, you can push them to one side. I think for me, I'm pushing the ones between the X's out toward the X's, and then the center of the star goes in. And then we'll repeat that on the other side too. And when the block opens up, it looks like this. We have our two X's at the top, our units are our block sashing units and center come together to make this pretty star and then our X units at the bottom. And now we'll press this. I usually start from the back and I'm just going to press. I'm going to use my, my fingers here to just guide this seam. It's kind of resisting going this way because of this X block, but it is the direction that I am choosing to press it. So I'm going to use my fingers to just help the iron and get it settled. Then I'll do the same on the opposite side. Okay, and then I will repeat this on this other side here. And then this, I'm gonna push towards the middle. So just very gently, I'm using the iron 
to just press this towards the center. And then we'll do that over here too. Of course, I could have done this side first, but um, I just wanted to start with the outside. I don't think it really matters. You can do whatever you're comfortable with. And we'll flip this over. We'll make sure everything looks nice. And then I'll just give it another press from the front. And I'm not sliding here. I'm, you know, picking the iron up and moving it to a new place to make sure I'm not warping any of these blocks, especially because we have triangles here. Okay, and that looks really good. So that's how you make one of these stars and X's blocks. I'll put a link to this pattern below if you're interested. It comes with multiple sizes. Uh, it uses a jelly roll, which is great. Um, these prints in the X are from the jelly roll. The largest size, the queen, which is 90 and a half by 90 and a half, that one uses almost a full jelly roll. All of the other sizes are going to use less than a jelly roll. So if you have leftover strips, it works great, or you could use it from scraps. You could even cut it from fat quarters. If you have any questions on how to make this block, just let me know. And if not, I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for following along.